This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, February the 28th, 2019. Today in 2013, after a bombshell announcement, Pope Benedict XVI became the first pope in 600 years to retire. Rumors and supposition spread far and wide as to his reasons. He himself cited his age and lack of energy. Sources close to the Holy Father since that time have revealed that Pope Benedict had been compiling a thorough dossier on problematic individuals in the church hierarchy for some time. Faced with that dossier, which Pope Benedict mentioned specifically in his address to cardinals upon his retirement, he didn't believe that he had the right stuff to root those men out. The man who compiled that dossier has become a bit familiar to some folks in the last few months. His name is Carlo Maria Vigano, an Archbishop of the Church and Sostituto of the Secretary of State. The dossier was presented to Pope Francis immediately upon his election. Pope Benedict retired to a quiet life of prayer and rest in a convent inside the Vatican City. Today, back in 1983, the final episode of M.A.S.H. aired. It was a strange episode, which saw a broken-down Hawkeye remembering an incredibly tense incident on a bus with a chicken, and Father Mulcahy being permanently deafened. The final episode was perhaps too on the nose, too preachy, and too tragic for a comedy show which had managed to ask some real questions and spark some real conversations about the sanity of modern warfare in the context of an hysterical and zany medical field unit in the Korean War. By then, of course, the wars in Vietnam and Korea were long over and the youth protest culture had changed quite a bit. Still, 106 million viewers tuned in and the episode, in hindsight and retrospective, is now very respected and very appreciated. Today is the birthday in 1906 of Bugsy Siegel, the handsome and charismatic Vegas mobster who was ultimately the brains behind the Vegas Strip. His vision for a sinner's paradise in the middle of the desert made him a lot of friends in a lot of mobs. He was influential in the Jewish Mafia, especially with Meyer Lasky. He was influential in the American mobs based in Chicago, New Jersey, and Kansas City. And he had some pull with the Italian mobs based in Sicily and in Naples. He was a famous bootlegger and a co-founder of what is now called Murder, Inc. The jewel in his very, very tarnished crown, though, was the Flamingo Hotel which is technically in the unincorporated area of Clark County, Nevada, which locals call Paradise. It's good trivia to know that the Vegas Strip is not in the city of Las Vegas, because if it was, the casinos would have to pay city tax in addition to federal, state, and county taxes. As it is, the casinos operate their own private police forces, fire brigades, and utility services anyway, and so they skip paying city taxes. Bugsy Siegel's dream is alive and well in Sin City, for better or for worse. Bugsy died a young man in 1947 in Beverly Hills. He was shot at his girlfriend's house, but no shooter was ever caught and no arrests were ever made. The unofficial story pointed the finger at the Jewish mob based in New York City, but you didn't hear that from me. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.